Hi, this is Shadi. Today we will be discussing Chinese police hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's a very long video. I'll leave it in the description below so you can look at it. Um, I'm gonna go through the things that are obviously in common with judo and how they are they set them up and uh, we're gonna be talking about them. So as you know the human body is very much the same everywhere and so uh, you're going to see that uh, the unbalancing and setting up some techniques is going to be the same. But there is, since it is hand-to-hand -hand combat, you're going to see a lot more uh, violent, uh, more dirty tactics that are found uh, in this one, which I find very interesting. So without further ado, let's begin. First one seems like uh, a pull and then sweeping the foot away to the front. Uh, which uh, makes it of a harai tsurikomi ashi. You can argue it's a sasai, but I saw the foot uh, sweeping forward. Hence, uh, it's a different technique because in sasai, you actually block and then you rotate around the ankle, while here you pull and then you kick away or sweep away depending on your context and here you see you pull as you sweep away this is a demonstration obviously it's uh, it's done beautifully it's not gonna look that good uh, in real life so the next one is an ambush as you are sitting on the chair a strike to the groin followed by a shoulder throw which is a cut down with the hands and as they are supported by your back there's really no need to lift with the hips as a lot of people think uh, cutting down with your hands above your shoulders this is the principle and it's a very successful throw self-defense competition etc so it's no surprise that you see it all over the world next um, it's now we are heading more into self-defense territory here you see uh, little things like wrist locks and ankle picks as someone maybe try to kick you as you are down uh, stuff like the gracie combatives will also appear as you saw you know, ripping off the fingers as someone tries to choke you and here you grab and you roll and you block the knee and they will collapse uh, you still have your options as someone is standing over you i'm sure guard pullers are very well uh, adapted to this so now this is very important someone's trying to choke you and they are mounting you having your hands above theirs will greatly diminish the effect of the choke this happens all the time a cross choke uh, what i do is get my arms above theirs and then grab their lapels and try to apply some weight on their hands and usually the choke is nullified and i can barely feel it uh, this is one of the best uh, defenses for chokes or cross chokes or this one like here so this next one here pinning the elbow and the hips and rotating classic uh, gracie combatives uh, 101 here you see this old uh, video by the gracie brothers showing it now here there is a difference in the way that they grab the elbow uh, here the thumb is pointed upwards because it locks better and they cannot pull it back while the chinese one is is less stable and they can pull away their arm but here it's a far more efficient way of doing it and you roll over and now you're far safer now this one here is a very interesting is where you cross grip the wrists pull them away and now you have one elbow locked and the other one wrapping it and so you do like a steering wheel motion and you get them off of you uh, this is a throw actually in aikido called juji nage or hiji nage so either cross throw because you're crossing the arms as you see here one elbow is locked or uh, it's an elbow throw because of the connection of the elbows so it can be very dynamic like this obviously to protect the elbow you do a big uh, fall and which makes it look very beautiful now here uh, 
as they are standing up you can attack arm locks you can find these in the old oda books uh, crossing the arms and locking them here at the same time you can also strike with your knee to the ribs and of course kick the groin and catapulting them uh, in a sumigaishi way but the difference is it's on the groin rather than the inside of the thigh because it's not a grappling competition obviously here you can arm lock as well so sumigaishi is on the inside of the thigh not between the legs it is not a groin kick so but obviously in life or death situation you can add these little aspects whether you're pulling the hair uh, grabbing the face with your palm to put them away whatever makes them uncomfortable and prone to grappling then use it but they shouldn't be the entire martial art uh, here of course it's i'm not surprised that this is here the tomoe nage or balloon sweep as they call in uh, bjj today this is your classical tomoe nage and one of my favorite throws and it's all about really pulling him in and launching your leg you don't immediately uh, aim with a straight leg because otherwise you're pulling the upper body towards you while kicking away the waist and it will never work and you will be too far so careful for this detail now as i mentioned uh, cross stroking and other classical ones uh, are obviously there these little dirty tricks will always be useful kicking the groin pulling the hair and uh, rotating the jaw as well here in the side headlock you can easily do this and then get away and wrist lock or arm lock so like i said dirty tricks on top of your already mastered grappling will always be good dirty tricks on their own are not enough in the slightest so here uh, this uh, strike to the groin and then followed by a fireman's carry here you see the arm is straight and then you wrap the leg because you try to aim the shoulder on the hips it's not aiming to hug the leg a lot of people have that misconception they hug the leg it's too far away they sprawl they have nothing it's really about controlling the waist by uh, keeping the high part of the thigh close to you so here you see look if you look at the classical form he actually aims his neck and shoulder to the belt level and as he goes up he actually has control over the most important part of what uh, destroys the balance which is the waist so as you see here um, the nage no kata really teaches us a lot about balance and how to throw someone in various ways so you pull you bring them to the sh to your shoulder their hips to your shoulder and then from there you throw now this i found very interesting someone going for the legs a lot of people do this very wrongly they stick out their necks whatever it may be but um, i like the defense is pulling one leg back which makes the double leg takedown almost impossible because they're not aligned so you cannot reap them efficiently together and so as you control the person who is trying to go for the legs then you adjust your legs and roll them over in this technique but you can also uh, sprawl down and get them into a uh, guillotine or whatever so if you have anything to add let me know down below this was shady thank you for listening